Hello there, it's Derek again and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a quick tip on how you're going to be able to scan a QR code on your Android device. So if you're new here, just give this video a thumbs up and without further ado, let's just dive into the video. So sometimes we get QR codes from devices and then packages we buy or maybe smartphones we buy or maybe even sometimes food we buy from the shop. We get QR codes on them and then we want to check whether the QR code is authentic or something. You know, QR codes do contain URLs, emails, contact information and then text and then even locations when you are going for a party. Sometimes you are being given QR codes so that you will be able to just use it as a gate pass when you get to the entrance. So let's say you have a QR code on your phone like this and then you just want to scan it and you probably don't have a any idea you want to do it or you want to see the information embedded in this QR code what you need to do is you need to pick up your phone and then you open your camera when you open your camera you just show it directly to the code like this and you're gonna see a link right here so this is a QR code I generated myself for my Instagram page so when you tap on it like this it's actually gonna take you to my Instagram page and you can see right here and that is basically very cool this is very cool this is the first step I'm actually showing you and we can do another for the next photo right here which is my youtube channel so you can see right here i'm still going to open my camera and then you're going to see youtube on the screens like this and i tap on it it's going to take me straight to my youtube channel right here in case you like this video you can just check out my channel and then go check it out so that's just by the way and this is just the first way you can just scan for a qr code on your phone Another way you can do it is by downloading Google Photos. In case you are using any Android device, you can download Google Photos right here. You go to the Play Store and then you check it out. If you're not using a Google Pixel, you're not going to get this by default. So you can download Google Photos and this is what you're going to get. And then you tap on the Google Photos. You're going to go to the picture you want to scan. So you see right here. And when you go to the photo, you're going to get options like this right here. You have share, edit, and then lens, and then delete. So if you are using the current Google Photos, you're actually going to get these options right here. You can either tap on search or tap on lens. So I'm going to tap on lens and it's going to scan the QR code for me like this. And I'm just going to tap on it and it'll take me straight to my YouTube channel. So that is if in case maybe you want to get a QR code on your phone and use this step, you just need to take a picture of it and then put it on your phone and then you're going to do it like this. Let's check the other code right here too. And you can see I just tap on lens right here. When I tap on lens, it's going to scan the Instagram account. I tap on it and it's going to take me to my Instagram page. So that is basically very cool. In case maybe you want to know how you're going to create this QR code, just stay in the comment section i'll make a video to show you how step by step you're going to do this so if this video was very helpful just give it a like and then also don't forget to share to anyone subscribe to the channel for more tips and then also check out this video in case you want to know more android apps you can download on your phone and then enjoy your phone and expect more smartphone reviews and then more tech videos coming up soon and without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace